So, this is it. I have finally proven that I am worthy of becoming one of Polis Kshatriya. I am worthy of carrying out the mission of retrieving the artifacts, which are essential for our efforts directed at preserving the knowledge and culture of the Old World. I have been assigned to the team handling the search effort in the vicinity of the Great Library. This is one of the most dangerous and simultaneously one of the most promising sectors of dead Moscow. Hello, Stalker. We'll be working together from now on. Well, it goes like this. We're running a small operation here, just a team of five, including you and me. My name is Kuzmich. I'm in charge of hardware here. The guns, the gear. I'll be providing you with all the toys. Shaman, see that suited up guy? Well, he's our expert. He's gonna check out the stuff you bring from up there and cop up the ammo. Then, there also are the twins. But you'll meet them in due course. Well, let's move to the good stuff. You can buy all the weapons, gear, and filters you need from me. What? You expected me to run a charity here? <laughs> Tough luck, partner. So, come on, grab your gear. The filters, the mask, the med kit, and the guns. Oh, by the way, when you take a beast down, try looking inside. You know how many guys they eat whole with all their stuff? The bastards. Well, with it, or on it, stalker, good luck. Hello, hello, and hello again. I'm Shaman. I'll be evaluating whatever you bring from the surface and providing you with adequate compensation. You might still harbor dreams of looking for some legendary artifacts, like the proverbial map of Secret Metro, but um, I think I'll have to disappoint you. Here's the list of things you're supposed to keep an eye out for. Fuel, works of art, uh, useful miscellaneous like toys, computer components, and etc., etc. Uh, nothing exotic or even exciting, you see. You know what you're expected to look for. Safe trip and a quick return to you. Oh, and don't forget the light bulbs. Wow, a new face. Hi, I'm Var. I oh, I'm Sue. So, you're the one they sent to join a second shift with us? Looks damn like that. Grisha got eaten, so there's nobody but this guy left. <laughs> In that case, we've got a couple of pieces of advice for you. Three pieces, three rules of survival. True, the first rule. Doubles is the most important one. You can't count on finding filters on the surface. So, whatever you take equals to how long you've left to live. Always take enough for the way there and the back, with some to spare. Second, the airlock opens into the sewers. You can follow it to the exits, which open up on the surface in different parts of the library. In fact, it's only one part right now, but finding the other exits will be part of your job. True. So where was I? Oh, okay, look. We don't really know much about the tunnels yet, so you've got to always be on the lookout for more sewer entry points. Now, the third one. See the box with those light bulbs there on the table? You're going to take it with you. Cause you see, we got the juice into the grid up there, but didn't get to replacing the bulbs yet. So, another part of your job will be putting these into the sockets wherever you go up there. That's gonna make it easier to find your way, too. And make the place a bit more home. <laughs> and don't you forget to refill on those bulbs when you get back. Well, good luck. Good. Okay, I think that's all for the story-related stuff. Hey, everybody. Uh, Food Fighter 288 here. Uh, I don't typically do uh, talking commentaries for this game because the whole two playthroughs that I've made up until this point uh, were just, like, straight-up textual commentary when I needed to add it in. Um, but for this particular, well, mission, chapter, level, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the Great Library... 
I'm gonna be talking maybe not probably not throughout this video but uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because I've only played this once back on the original Metro last light like six years ago so I don't remember much of this it's gonna be kind of a learning experience just along with you so if I fuck up I will fully be prepared to let you know that I did but one thing I do remember from this level is that uh, it's basically a free room level you can save whenever you want you got a base of operations you can return to and uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because with uh, Metro Exodus coming out in like uh, well five days I thought I would make this as a reminder to show you guys what Metro Exodus could have could have could have been but uh, you know if they wanted to stick with the last light and 2033 gameplay mechanics and this was kinda like what their experiment was was making this mission it was kinda like oh by the way this is where you can find the teddy bear right here it's one of the things you gotta pick up or the toy it's a teddy bear but what you know whatever semantics um, but yeah, what made this level really neat was that it was basically a free room level. It's pretty much the closest to Fallout that this, you know, particular game got. I don't know what Metro Exodus is going to be like or what that free room is going to be like, but uh, I would have been okay with having a game that was just like nothing but this, even though I haven't really showed much of the level yet. You'll see what I mean as the video goes on. But yeah, this... Um this particular mission was originally part of a uh, DLC called the Faction Pack. Uh, it was like one of four DLCs that came out with uh, Metro Last Light. Oh, must be out of light bulbs. Alright, I'll catch that one later. But uh, the other two missions in this DLC pack were kind of were kind of crap, so I'm not gonna bother to do those. One mission was called Heavy Squad, and it was pretty much a defense mode. You got a minigun and a grenade launcher and a vault driver railgun, and you just had to hold off enemies. It wasn't anything special. Pretty sure there's something else down here in the sewers. Ah, what the hell, I gotta get more light bulbs anyway. And then the other mission was called Sniper Team, and that was like a stealth, like not strictly stealth uh, mission where you had to uh, sneak around sniping guys with this really cool sniper rifle. <laughs> Wasn't anything special. But this was the best mission out of those three. Love to see the results of your expedition. The children will love it. A really good job, I must say. Here you are. Speaking of expeditions, you could take a rest between such endeavors. That is certain to improve your chances of prolonged survival. See, the other thing that was cool about this uh, chapter, that's the list of all the I took a screenshot of this a couple days ago. I got it on my phone, so I know what to get. But, uh, yeah, you bring the stuff back, and then he gives you military-grade rounds as payment. And then, of course, with those, you 
buy weapons and gear and filters. The guy explained that at the beginning of the level. But over here is where you can save the game. I don't know how long I'll be recording for, so at some point I might have to cut this video into two parts or three parts. or I can't remember how long this video was. I mean, uh, how long this uh, chapter originally was. So, But it's all going to be one video when I eventually get around to uploading this. And I probably won't have this uploaded in time for Exodus to come out. Also, you can only carry five objects at a time before your backpack gets full. So I brought the one down. So I should have enough space to pick up all five of the ones up here on the surface. to fight any watchmen. I got a bastard SMG and this A shot pistol. Ah fuck, forgot about that. Oh it's a good thing I saved. What the hell? The other thing is every time you exit the base, uh and the and the solace attack is, is kinda like randomized. It seems like sometimes you leave the base you got like a whole group of them coming at you, and then other times it's like one, if you're lucky. Also, the objects that you got to pick up flash. There's the other exit to the sewer. Yeah, see, it says backpack full whenever you... Yeah, I'll come back for that.
I'd say they already paid me back. All right, now as tempting as it would be to buy a gun at this point, I think. There's hot spots on the surface where this suit is a goddamn must. You'd need a ton of filters without it. And that's exactly the reason why I'm buying this suit. All right. These filters cost a crap load of. Uh, yeah, I got 29 right now. Yeah, they cost 20. Yeah. Every time you come down to buy them, it gets increased by 5 MGR. So, I'm just going to buy those for now. That'll give me 8 minutes of air time. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let me save my game shit just in case I get killed. Then I can just perfectly edit it out later, like I usually do. like a sewer entrance right there. Now see, without the toxic suit right now, I would be, like, getting lit up with the little... And another thing is when you're in a toxic area, see that little number there, 4 minutes, 40 seconds? That's your filter time. If you're in a toxic area with radiation, that number goes down real quick. But with the toxic suit, it doesn't go down as quickly as if you were going out there without the toxic suit. I just got to figure out where the hell I am now because I found a new entrance to the sewer. Okay, so that's where that gate leads. See, as the chapter goes on, you come across, well, like the guy said in the beginning of the video, you come across more exits that you can escape down. So you don't got to spend all your time up on the surface using up all your filters. Because like I just told you earlier, they're going to cost more and more every time you get to buy them. The fuck is this? Okay, this is not where we came down. What the hell? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Still, what the fu... Okay, we came down there. Like I'm saying, everybody, this is the second time I've played this chapter ever. I didn't do, like, a test run or a checklist or any of that for this thing. Oh, that's a librarian. Ah, oh, Christ. Well, that was also one of the cool things about this DLC pack. Uh, you got to go back to the Great Library from Metro 2033. Of course, this was before the Redux. 
The Redux wasn't a thing at the time that this uh, DLC came out. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, fucking lurkers. God damn it. I'd rather be dealing with a librarian right now. It's a little annoying shit. Actually, I think this is the main hall where that demon broke in and Miller and that other dude were... It's a little different than it was in the first game, because I think... I don't know what time this is set in. Oh, glasses. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely set, like, I think before or after the events of Metro 2033. That's the other thing about this DLC pack. It's like, these. I think these missions are just here for fun. I don't think they're supposed to be, like, story-related or anything. Because when they, uh... When 4A Games made this, I think, well, what it was was THQ at the time published this game, and then they went bankrupt just before the game came out. And then, luckily, Deep Silver bought up the rights to it before, uh, you know, so that the game could actually come out. In case you guys weren't aware of that story. You know, kind of like what Netflix is doing now, you know, like some studio makes a movie... And then, you know, the studio goes, oh, no, never mind. We changed our minds. We don't want to release it. And Netflix is like, fuck it, we'll take it. We'll buy it. And then they and then they slap their Netflix original on it, even though they didn't technically make it. And then they release it on their service. And I know that's not the case for all of their movies, but that's how they started out. But it's kind of like that. It was THQ published it, and then they did a bunch of stupid shady shit. And then uh, ended up going bankrupt. And then, uh, Deep Silver saved them, and, yeah, the game came out a little later than expected, but at least it actually came out. You know. Gotta be thankful for that. I I could just run past these guys without having to fuck with them. But, yeah, anyway, uh, so, yeah, if THQ had not gone bankrupt and released this game. The season pass probably would have ended up being like 40 bucks instead of the 15 that Deep Silver was offering. And look, these DLCs are okay, but they're not like worth 40 bucks. Okay. Fuckers. But yeah, this was part of the faction pack, and then there was the tower pack, and then there was the developer pack, and then I think something called the Chronicles pack or something. And, uh, look, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not going to do a video for every single one of the DLC chapters. I'm only doing commentary for this one and, like, a couple others because the others were pretty kick-ass, like this chapter turned out to be. Yeah, the other thing about this was they, uh... See how this guy's red and the other ones are green and gray and all that? That idea started with this DLC chapter, or level, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be calling it one of, one of everything at some point. I probably already have. I can't remember what I've said so far in this video. I'm going to end up repeating myself in one way or the other. One thing's for sure, this chapter was an experiment into uh, what could be done with a possible third Metro game, with a possible free room Metro game. And, you know, I guess they already had their hearts set on making Exodus the way it was when they went to uh, create it. That's what I hate about those fucking lurkers. But seriously, I would be okay with a game being kind of like this. chapter based of course but just like this all right
right, let's head back to base, drop off this stuff. But I'm sure Exodus is going to be good the way it is. One thing's for sure is all these pre-videos I'm watching, these leaked gameplay videos of Exodus, uh, God, they're fucking frustrating to watch, because these guys, they don't know how to play Metro. It's like they're playing it like it's Doom or Call of Duty or some shit. It's like, that's not how it works. Give me the fucking controller, kiddo. Let me show you how, you know, to turn the, the goddamn gas mask off and how to pump the, enter, you know, the, uh, how to save ammo, for Christ's sake. The fuck is this? Let me in, assholes. That's the only thing that's frustrating about trying to watch, uh... I'm excited for the game, but... I gotta not watch the videos, because it's like, every time I fucking watch it... And that IGN preview! Who the fuck gave the controller to an intern? And let them play the game? Glad to see it's, trying to snipe with a shotgun, for Christ's sake. Acceptable, even though it's contaminated. Ah, romance novels. Oh, a bicycle! This is a great find! Simply great! A really good job, I must say. Good job. Here you are. Oh yeah, there's still a lot to go. Ah, uh, Christ. Hey, please be careful out there, huh? Hmm. Yeah, what the hell. Might be a good idea in case I run out of ammo, I'll have pistol bullets. Key to, the key, one of the keys to this chapter is, you know, well, one of the keys to Metro in general is the, well, no, one of the keys to this chapter, because this is a little different than the rest of the game, is to not use up a shitload of ammo. Oh yeah, I'm I'm out of goddamn filters. Okay. Yeah, I was so prepared for that one. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Let me just do it that way. Just gonna cheat a little bit. Reload the save. Let's try this again. Great. Yeah, yeah. Let me get the cheaper pistol. You know, another way they could have did a free roam, uh, 
metro game is by having like you know several little bases like this like in a metro but then you just travel on the surface between them you know kind of like how the first two games were except you got more freedom you know it's like one big map kind of like this Try this again. All right, that leads back to base. So this leads to fucking nowhere. And that doesn't lead anywhere either. Yeah, I'm sure you're probably feeling the same way about me as I was feeling about some of those Metro Exodus videos. You're probably like, oh my god, I know where to go. Fuck's sake, foo. You go that way. Where are you fucking around, man? No, that's not how I imagine most of the people who watch my videos talk. I'm just, that's a, that's a small, small number. Oh, here we go. Oh, of course. Oh, I should have went this way to begin with. This is the way you go in uh, Metro uh, 2033 when you got to unblock the door. There we go. There's an icon. I think. Yep, I thought so. Yeah, it's my with my my old basic knowledge I have of artwork. Figured that was an icon. Oh, what the fuck? Are you all right? Yeah, I just gotta change my pants. I'm okay.
Toolbox, I bet, right? Toolbox? Yeah, tools. Uh, they're in a box. I took a, took a shot. I guess this is another great idea to have the toxic suit. Oh, hey, tape player. I got room for one more artifact, so let me try grabbing one more thing, and then we'll head back to base. You little fuckers. The thing about lurkers is they're annoying, but luckily they don't you know, cost you too much damage. Alright. Before I go, let me loot all of these things first. I don't even give a shit about the lurkers. I'm gonna ignore their little asses. They look, they look like vaginas with legs. It's like so, you know. Not that people who have vaginas shouldn't be taken seriously. What I mean is, I could have just easily said penises with feet, but you know, it would make you feminists feel better. They look like penises with feet. There, everybody wins. America. But, to keep with the theme of the game, in Soviet Russia, penis fucks you. Or I guess that should be communism fucks you. Either way, you're fucked, comrade. Haha, <laughs> now back to the salt mine. And yeah, in case you're wondering, yes, that was me that wrote all, read all the diaries uh, for... <laughs> Not that anyone gives a shit. I should be commended for the fact that I had to practically uh, proofread all of them as I went. Because the goddamn things weren't translated properly. Probably not 4A Games fault. That was probably THQ did that. They seem to be in a rush. They said there was a ladder. There's a fire escape somewhere. Okay, I thought that was another item. Oh, this must be... Oh, this is it. Okay. Oh, that'll make things easier. I love these little shortcuts.
something valuable there. Incredible. We could put this to use. Can't say it's a worthy thing. A great job. Great job indeed. All right, that's like what halfway done. about you guys, but if I'm going to be coming up against a librarian, I would feel a hell of a lot more comfy with a shambler instead of a uh, a shot. You can't take a librarian head on without this one and leave to tell the tale, son. Well, I guess that'll be the next thing I buy. Three's a charm. So you gotta be really careful with your money. I mean, it's not, you know, there's... There's only so many items you can pick up in the game. Suitcase, right? Suitcase? Yeah, suitcase. See, I, I really don't know the names of any of these things. I'm just... I know it's 2019, but I assume that the assumption thing isn't an issue anymore because it's not 2018 anymore, so... I'm just going to assume like a motherfucker until some guy with his handlebar mustache or a wool hat, or both, tells me not to. Once again, America. First aid kit? Yeah, medical supplies. Yeah, six one, half dozen of the other. You say potato, I say first aid kit. Oh, God. I hope the librarians in this chapter work the same as they do in uh, 2033. Which, by the way, if you've noticed, uh, with this, this is like three levels in one so far without the loading screens. Right around here is where the archives level would start if this was uh, 2033 Redux. Of course, if this was the original 2033, this would be like seven chapters in one because it is. Those chapters were short.
How how am I how am I lit up? Why is there a blue light on? I'm in the darkness. Also, my mask is really fucked up. I better, I gotta be careful about that. Oh, you know, I think they purposely have me lit up so that I will have to fight a librarian. That's why that little blue light is on right now. Yeah. Thank God for these... Ex Incendiary shells. I think he was trying to make nice just now, but that, that, yeah, yeah, that's right. I just gave you smallpox, but go away. Yeah, that's right. Go away. All right. So the same mechanic does work with this chapter, even though I just put like nine rounds of dragon's breath into him. Like I've always said, people, forgiveness is an important virtue. Even if you're some kind of ape creature living in a Moscow library, it's a important virtue. All right, that's four. Oh, fuck you, you sneaky bitch. Are we chill again? Are we good? I don't want to call him homie because I don't want people to get all offended thinking I'm trying to insinuate something. Come on. Alright. If he comes at me again, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him more pock marks. I don't think there's any other... Ooh, I gotta go back anyway. Alright. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Alright. Alright, I gotta go back. Gotta get a new mask. That's a given. And some filters. Oh, good. There's a demon in the Great Hall. That's perfect. That's a little cherry on the shit Sunday, everybody. I ain't even mad, though. Fuck it. Whatever. Demons ain't shit. I can take care of them. Though, you know what? Depending on how much money I get from bringing in these artifacts, maybe I ought to buy a Kalashnikov. Or, better yet, maybe I ought to buy a fucking armor suit. You know, as far as priorities go, armor suit, AK-47. Well, gas mask, armor suit, filters, AK-47. Let me buy some peace of mind. Oh, cool. I can re-equip my other suit whenever I want it. All right, that's good. Uh, okay. Gas mask. 
Oh, I don't got to pay for it. Nice. But I'm limited to... What is it? One, two... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you only get five chances to swap new new gas masks. So I got I got to take good care of this one because I only got four other good ones. Great. All right, and no AK. Maybe next time. Oh fuck! Right. Let me save the game. Let me save the game. Shit! 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 All right, it's been 53 minutes so far. Probably the longest Metro video so far that I've done. I don't even think I'm done. I'm only like, I got a third of the way to go with uh, items yet. You know, I am curious. I am curious to see what kind of loot those librarians have on them when you kill them. Not that I want to actively fight every librarian I come across, but now that I got an armored suit. Well, you know, it's not so much about the health. It's about the, 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 um, about the, uh, ammo. Why did that take me so long to say that? I don't know. See, I don't want to waste all my ammo on that shit sneeze. The only downside with the armor is that I can't protect myself from the toxicity. That sucks. But, hey, fuck it. You know, these games are all about trade-offs. So... I gotta give up A in order to have a better B. Mm, all right. Another shortcut right here. Another thing about this chapter is it's uh, it's a good idea not to come back empty-handed. I don't, in, in my opinion, I don't think it's a good idea because at least that way, every time you come back to the base, you have something to sell, so that you can use that money to buy filters and ammo and whatever else you might need. Otherwise, you know, it's just kind of a wasted trip.
Uh, that's the, all right, that's the other shortcut. So that's where that uh, spot was. All right, so this goes right down to the depository area, that uh, little sewer. Son of a bitch. All right, we'll come back to this. Let me see what else is upstairs. Cause I only got, uh, well, I got like four minutes of air left, but I, mm. I want to give myself at least two minutes to get back to base. God damn it! Remember, this is exactly what happens in 2033 in the archives level. Or is it depository level? I forget which is which. But yeah, that's a repeat. I should have expected that. La 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 ka. Or Russian Qatar is ignorant assholes like me who can't put their tongues around things. Uh, usually like to call them. Keep things simple. Of course, those of you who are cultured probably are rolling your eyes right now because I can't pronounce whatever the fuck that word is. Um. Alright. Alright, here's the plan. Let me pause this real quick. Because I took a screenshot of the list of stuff I need. Okay, there's eight more items left. So. I'm going to head back to base somehow get myself all geared up and ready to make a comeback later Oh, this is new. The hell is this? Okay, that's where the red door leads to. Good to know. Hey, all right. What's uh? What's in this uh, immediate area that I could grab? If anything. Ah, uh, fuck. Looks like the only thing I'm gonna grab in this area is a shitload of cancer. Well, it's a good thing I got that combat suit.
to put the fuck. God damn it. Yes. Glad to see you again. A really good job, I must say. Here you are. Is that it? God damn it. Alright, so yeah, this is everything that's left. Weapon parts. I'm wondering if the weapon parts are somewhere in the immediate area. Well, if I'm walking around looking for one last goddamn thing, it'll probably be that near the end of the video. Good luck to you. Deal. All right, 15 minutes this time. Alright, I'm pretty much happy with the weapons I got, but might be a good idea to buy some more ammo while I'm down here. Alright. I don't know if I hit him, but fuck it. What the hell? I paid 225 MGR for a combat suit just for this situation. Might as well get my money's worth. Okay, all right, 24 MGR, that's not bad. Oh, okay, there's the welder's helmet. I went right past that because I was like panicking because of that goddamn librarian. So not only did killing it get me a nice little chunk of MGRs, but uh, enough peace of mind for me to focus on my treasure hunting. Of course, that wasn't the only one. It ain't that damn easy. I 
I'm just wondering if the weapon parts Science book. Thank you, Doke. There we go. Hope you guys like green. Is I'm going to be using these a lot from now on. Oh, fuck, fuck balls. God damn it. All right. Tell me out of this big friggin' room. Only night vision goggles were in here? Come on, there's gotta be something else in here. Oh wait, yeah, that science book was in here too. Alright, well I guess that makes sense. I'm not even gonna engage. I'm not wasting money. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna waste ammo on those little shits. I'm just gonna ignore them. They're kind of like little siblings, you know. You just gotta just say the hell with it. You don't exist, which probably explains why my brother and my sister and I have such a great relationship. Yeah, I'm the youngest in my family. Wonder if. Yeah, okay, I don't need a gas mask here. Okay, so this is where there's a little, that's where, oh boy. This is where those uh, dark librarians are. They're more subterranean, so they're tougher than the uh, standard librarians. Mm, maybe I should bring some grenades with me.
Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Just stay there. Why the fuck was he not running? God damn it, I hate that shit. throwing knives. I'm going to be fighting giant fucking apes for God's sake, so let me trade those in for that. Alright. At least one sticky grenade is a good idea. Need some gear. What's up? Alright, so down here is where the science book was. And the night vision goggles. I might have to fight this bitch. That's not an assumption, that's a statement. Yeah, that's what I thought. Christ. Well, that went better than last time. How many more? Three more? All right. So a sticky bomb plus, I don't know, what was that, like nine, eight, nine shotgun shells will kill a librarian. Terminal. Okay. 
All right, so two more artifacts, and we'll head back to base. You know, maybe I should head back to base now. While well, everything's going good. And technically, this is the sewers. There should be like a... Should be like an access point back to base near here. Maybe if I keep pushing forward, I might find one. Then again, I might end up getting killed and having to reload my last save. Which one do you guys think is more likely at this point? Please tell me these fuckers are sleeping. Oh yeah, these fuckers are sleeping. Yeah, just keep it that way, guys. Just keep it that way. I don't mind a bit of stealth. Right, let me head back here first before I drop down there. I don't know why I'm so quiet right now. I know they can't hear me. But... Oh, you fucker. Hopefully the stare down thing will work. Of course I did just wake him up so he might be a little pissed. Fuck, please don't be up there when I go up there.
Yeah, don't come in here. Yeah. You don't want nothing to do with this place. All right, so what was that, like 18, 18 shots? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's that door. Huh. All right. We're making progress, people. Yep, I should have figured this would happen. I don't have my gun. Still have my friggin' mask on. It's always nice to see you. In incredible. Uh, the BEP of Secret Metro. I'm totally at a loss for words, I must say. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Marvelous. Simply Damn. marvelous. I think. You should report your find to the station chief personally. He will have a new assignment for you, I presume. I'm not ready to go yet. I still got three other things I gotta grab. Good luck to you. Deal. But, you know, since I am pretty much rich right now. Well, there was like three of them down there, right?
Wait, I'm gonna go this way. Let's see, I know where the speaker is. Okay, so I went back and I replayed the Great Library level, like literally just today, and uh, I discovered where the uh, weapon parts and the, what is it, the uh, street light, traffic light, yeah, traffic light and the weapon parts are. The weapon parts are back here in this section of the Great Library, you know, the section where you first go in there and there's all those tentacles or branches or whatever you want to call them hanging from the, um, from the ceiling. Anyway, there's the weapon parts next to this corpse here on the second floor of this area. Now, the traffic light, to get to the traffic light, go to the area where you first uh, meet a librarian. And you know that exit that takes you outside? Well, head to the left, and it's all the way at the end of the alley on the wall. See it there? Right there? Yeah, that's it. Anyway, you grab that, and then to get back into the uh, sewer before you die from fucking radiation poisoning, uh, just head to that one area where, watch out for the tripwire, just head to that one area with the red door that takes you directly down to the little manhole or ladder or whatever you want to call it, that uh, takes you right back down to the main base. Yeah, see, recognize this room? Well, the, the traffic light is like right outside and to the right from this area. Also, anyway, for the audio speaker, the audio speaker, as you saw in this video, was the last object that I didn't pick up while I was fighting that librarian. So, uh, if I've learned anything from playing this level, it's do not take the secret subway map until the very last thing that you grab. Otherwise, if you go to save your game, well, you're screwed, and you'll have to start the level all over again like I did here in order to get those last two objects. But, um, yeah, save the secret subway map for last. Anyway, that's the location of everything. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and or fun to watch. Uh, it's fun for me to play it. I really love this level. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And uh, have a great night.